everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here. And in today's fun video, we're going to be doing a woodworking experiment and a test of concept. That's either going to be an epic win or an epic fail. Hopefully for me, it's an epic win because it'll really elevate what I can do out here in the workshop as far as the scroll saw work. But I want to combine the laser engraver and the scroll saw together. You guys know behind me primarily, I am a scroll saw woodworking artist. And in a previous video over here on the laser, this is the longer Ray 5 5 watt laser, we have already proved that we can dial it in properly and laser cut through the same quarter inch material that I do all the scroll work on behind me. And there you see this beautiful ornament, it laser cut. This is a Steve Good design that says, follow your dreams. Indeed, I am trying to follow mine, but it cut cleanly through and stained and finished up beautifully and I clear coated it. But what I was thinking, what if you just want to laser engrave your pattern onto the material and it's thicker than one quarter inch? Obviously, if it's one quarter inch now, you can just go on and cut everything out on the laser. It just takes, in my opinion, a little bit longer with the several passes and the speed and settings and all. And it's a lot more computer work involved in it. But what if we just wanted to laser engrave the pattern onto the material and then proceed to our scroll saw work? It would save on computer paper. It would save on computer ink, spray adhesives, glue, blue painters tape if you go that route, and also computer ink, which is very expensive. Now, I've already just printed out the pattern we're going to test this theory on, and it's also an older Steve Good design, and it's the Beatles guitar pick here, and you see it calls for one quarter inch thick material, which we've already proven that the laser can do that. So what if you wanted to do some thicker material and just wanted to laser engrave the pattern on, drill your pilot holes, and then proceed to your scroll saw? This is the option I am going to try in this video here and again hopefully it succeeds and the material I've picked out is an old dresser drawer front that was given to me and I ran it through the thickness planner to clean it up and you can see it's kind of rustic and decrepit here on the back from years of use but I cleaned up the top side and I've cut it down to size and again it is pine material and it is a lighter wood which I think will be a great way to test this concept when we're just going to engrave the pattern on it. Now I've already got the pattern saved to the Lightburn software and I've got a few screenshots of how I went by to vectorize it and get it into a line design for laser engraving and since we're not cutting through the material here we can remove the spool board here from the laser and set it aside and lay our material down so while I am zeroing out the laser getting my dust fence turned on getting light burn loaded and getting the air filter on we'll see the few screenshots I've got doing the pattern into a line drawing let's get started and as I stated this is an older Steve Good scroll saw woodworking pattern I downloaded the PDF pattern pack and took a screenshot of the pattern and imported it into Lightburn and then I converted it into a line drawing that is a vector for laser etching and I resized it to the size I need and I put it on a very low setting with one pass and turn on my fans there and we will frame out our work to make sure everything is properly aligned and then I will hit go and obviously the speed is sped up here but it engraved the whole entire pattern in like two minutes which really surprised me and is way quicker than printing out a pattern and attaching it with tape or spray adhesive and this is my longer Ray 5 5 watt laser engraver and it done a fantastic job then it was time to drill the pilot holes for the internal cuts and for this experiment again I just chose a more simpler pattern with not a ton of internal cuts and then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling as always I am using number five ultra reverse scroll saw blades and they are cutting through this material exceptionally well if you guys would like to try this pattern as just a basic scroll saw pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scroll saw workshop blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog and I was really amazed at the results here that the laser engraver done I had a fear that the laser etch line would be kind of dusty or sooty to where it would smudge but it didn't it stayed vibrant throughout the whole cutting process and it was easy to follow the cut line it's just with it being laser etched it 
is one of those styles where you would have to be as loyal as you can to the cut line because the laser etch line will not want to sand away, if that makes any sense. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. I think doing a project like this just shows how you can combine tools that otherwise might not ever be combined, such as the laser engraver and the scroll saw. Now I do use the laser engraver a lot to engrave custom made by me on the back of a lot of my scroll saw portraits. And that's what really got the wheels turning that and a conversation with other woodworking friends about maybe being able to laser etch the pattern onto the material directly. And this video is the result of those ideas. Doing the final internal cut here. And then we will retension the blade and do the final outside cut which will release the piece from the waste wood. Taking my time and letting the blade do the work. And as I said at the beginning, we're not going to finish this project completely in this video. This was just more of an experiment video. But we will quickly sand it front and back with 100 grit sandpaper with the palm sander. Getting everything nice and smooth. And for now, the project is complete. And here we have the completed test of concept piece to see if you can laser engrave scroll saw patterns directly to the wood for scroll saw woodworking. And I think this proves that it can be done. Again, I'm not going to finish this project in this video. This was just, again, a test of concept piece. I will be finishing it off camera, and I think what I'll end up doing is standing it, put a nice backer board on it, and give it to a friend that is a huge Beatles fan. But really, really cool. Everything came out nice and crisp, and the cut lines all worked beautifully. It didn't smudge. That was my fear going into this, was once the laser done it, it might be sooty or kind of smudgy and smear the line where I could and see it that was not the case all the lines stayed good and vibrant and I could tell where I was going with the scroll saw blade but go on this option I will inform you that it is very important that you stay loyal to the cut line because that cut line because it was laser engraved will be very hard to sand away if you are not precise with all of the details on the pattern here and you can see I've done my best staying as loyal as I could to the cut line again it would take some aggressive sanding to get a laser line off of it so I was just mindful of that all the way through the project and again this will save on computer paper and as you see here the project is way bigger than Steve Good originally designed it to be and that is another option with the laser you can enlarge or shrink down the patterns quickly and easily in your laser engraving software of course I use Lightburn for this I do want to say thank you Steve Good for another amazing scroll saw pattern it took me around 15 minutes to scroll this pattern out it's not a very complicated pattern again I just took my time as always and let the blade do the work and again the material here is some three-quarter or close to three-quarter inch just a dresser drawer front that I reclaimed and cleaned up and everything just to again do a test of concept and it is pine it's got that pine smell to it there's been no finish or nothing added to it and I do think that the laser engraver would lean itself toward laser engraving patterns on lighter woods pine spruce quarter inch unfinished plywood stuff like that lighter woods maybe cedar as well I think when you get into some of your darker woods like walnut or mahogany the laser line if you engrave it on there would be harder to see other than if you had printed the pattern out and attached it to your material but this can save on paper it can save on clear packing tape spray adhesive if you use it in the blue painters tape again I will probably not be doing this frequently going forward I might do it if I'm not filming and just doing another project because I know I have a lot of first-time visitors to my 
channel and then they're going to wonder why I'm doing this instead of printing out the pattern. So I will still probably go with this route for filming and documenting YouTube videos. But this is a viable option and I will consider it an epic win. Thank you guys for following along on this woodworking experiment. I hope you guys learned something. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. Experiment out in your workshop and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.